Welcome back, everyone. So, I've mentioned before that we will get nanocores for faction ships, but I thought that would happen in September. Well, uh, to my pleasant surprise, we did get nanocores in August with the latest update. So, uh, as I've promised before, uh, as soon as they're out, I got one for my Cinnabal, and we'll get for my other ships as well. So, let's see what the nanocore did change. So, the first thing that you will notice is, of course, the DPS has increased from 1024 to 1.1k, 1 .1 which is pretty damn good. Still using the C-type medium autocans, if I were using B-types, that would be around 1.3k DPS, which is still pretty good. As for the rest of my fit, in the medium, slot, in the medium slots, uh, I have dual webs uh, and one scrambler or one scrambler and uh, one web, and of course one scanner. In the low slots, dual propulsion and dual gyros with a large shield extender. Now for the rigs, uh, I do have one 4P uh, engineering rig that I can definitely use. Basically I can combine four rigs into one and I can place it in one of these slots. Uh, still thinking what sh what to do with that. I still have enough time to think about it. So uh, that 4P integration that I have uh, most likely will be used on this ship. Okay, let's take a close lo closer look on the nano core here. So as you probably have already expected, I did go for the cannon DPS, 15.60% more cannon damage, which is a pretty nice uh, buff. Definitely, you will notice uh, this in combat. Now, the blue nanocores cannot be upgraded. Uh, I thought that you could upgrade them, but sadly, no. So in the future, when we get the more advanced nanocore, I'll definitely replace it with, the, with this current one. Or I'll replace the current one with the future nanocore that will be released. Now, the nanocore definitely made this ship look uh, way, way prettier than before. And I like the, I like the color on this ship quite, quite a lot. All right, well, let's take a look at how how the DPS looks when I uh, when I'm in combat. All right, uh, my apologies for that little screenshot. I just had to do it. It looks it looks pretty good on this on this map here. Aligned. Let's turn on the micro warp drive and the dual gyros. Let's pop that fitting window. 1738.44 DPS. Well, that's pretty good. Slowly creeping up towards the 2000 DPS mark. If I had B-types, that would be way closer, but there is time. I'm waiting for A and X types to be released. I will definitely get uh, those modules when they are out. Well then, uh, the rest of the stats on the ship are mostly the same. Uh, there isn't any uh, change made to them. So uh, the ship still is ridiculously fast. It still has, it has actually better DPS than before. Now let's take a look at that nanocore, uh, because besides DPS, we can actually choose uh, shield and speed bonuses. Okay, there's the nanocore and let's take a look. All right, so you can choose between three bonuses. Now I thought about using the flight velocity bonus. It would make the ship even faster than before. Uh, I might, you know, play around with that uh, in the future because I can actually change the current bonus a couple times. We'll, we will see. <coughs> we'll see what will work uh, the best. But 18.60% more velocity. Oh man, <laughs> that is... Uh, I think that would be above, like... That should be above uh, 4k, 4 kilometers per second. Well then, um, enough of me talking, let's jump in and let's, let's shoot something down. Destroyed condensed asteroid belt. Now that sounds like a bait to me. So let's see what will happen. We are landing on the, on the belt. We have a Vex or Navy there. The Vexor Navy has drones out. Yeah, this is definitely a bait Vexor. Well, we are taking the bait. Let's see what will happen. Orbiting at 13 kilometers. And of course, so oh, the local spike there. Keep keep a close eye on the on the local. I got webbed, I got scrambled. 
luckily I have the afterburner, so I can burn away from the from the scramblers and webs. Nice. Okay. Twelve in local, ten hostile ships. You know, I'll risk it and I'll go grab the wreck for signals. Oh man. Okay, nice, and let's warp out. There we go. There is the support coming in. And there is more ships on the way. Alright, that was a... That was a nice escape. Now let's see what they brought. Okay, the hurricane warped off. An Ashimu just jumped in. Nice. There is another hurricane here. And the Ashimu, they are both over there. Well, good luck chasing this cinnable. Even if they try to chase me, they're never gonna catch me. There's no way. Only like a interceptor can can get close to me. And even if they get close, they will get deleted pretty quickly. So I am pretty safe here. The Ash also warping away. Hurricane also warped away. Well, uh, they definitely brought a nice little fleet for us. But a cinnable is very fast. And if a Cinnabal doesn't want to get caught, the Cinnabal will not get caught. As, as I have the experience with for quite some time now. Alright, um, let's wait a little bit. Uh, let's wait a couple more minutes here and then we can proceed towards the next target. I still have the criminal timer on. Don't want to accidentally warp towards a station or gate with that. Would be, an, would be a very expensive loss. Alright, uh, we are landing on this Dominix. That was a perfect warp in. And let's point it, scramble it. Scramble it, web it. And let's shoot it down. Almost in. Oh! Wait, what? Oh well. Um, well, that's, that's what happens when I don't pick dual scramblers that Domi had a lucky escape. Alright, on to the next target. Aguila! Alright, now we're talking. But it's a little bit far away unfortunately and they warped off very quickly. Well, at least I don't have the criminal timer there. On to the next target. Criminal Alliance. Hmm. Well, I know someone who's gonna be a criminal in a couple more moments. And that's definitely... Oh, well, um, that's a twist of event. That's a two. That's weird. Okay. I thought I would be the criminal, but seems like we caught a criminal. Well then, let's quickly shoot down the prophecy. The prophecy quite tanky, but that's a little bit too much DPS for that prophecy. So, and that's not bad loot. Nice. Taking out the pod. Again, another little local spike. So let's quickly take range. Let's shoot down the pod. And okay, nice. Let's burn away from the Warp drive from the mission beacon. The threat condensed ash read belt. All right. Well, seems like we have another bait in that uh, in the same ash read belt from before. So let's see. Oh, this time it's a Harby. All right. So it's a it's a bit more tanky now. All right. My friend got pointed and scrambled. So let's quickly focus fire on the on the Harby to quickly destroy it before reinforcements jump in. Now, yeah, that's a damage control absolutely on the on the Harby. I'm I'm sure of it because the DPS just stopped from uh, from our ships. But they are in hull and there we go. Nice. All right, let's grab the wreck and pod. Yep, like I've said before. Uh, like I've said, a damage control. They activated that a little bit too late though. They should have activated it when we hit armor. All right, so warping away Warp before uh, before the party jumps us. All right, nice. Next target, Oracle. Well, Oracle 2. Well then, um, 
Yeah, this oracle is about to have a very bad day in EVE. Scrambled, pointed, I mean, scrambled, webbed. I don't have any points, only scrambles. Only scramblers. And they are now in low armor. Trying to shoot us? Well, they use beam lasers. There is just... N they can't. There is no way that they will hit us at this range with beam lasers. They don't have the tracking. In hole and let's go. Nice. Oh wait. <laughs> One more hit. Nice. All right. I did not get a kill mill, although I expected to get a kill mill. Well then, uh, that was a juicy kill. I love shooting oracles for some reason. Not my favorite ship in the game. Oh, and that was actually before I got the. This was actually before I got the nano core. Nice. Okay. Well then, uh, let's keep on orbiting the gate. Next target, Thorax Prototype. Yeah, this, uh, these ships became a lot more common uh, as of as of lately. Pointed, scrambled, orbiting close. Well, they're going down very quickly. It's only a Prototype. Nice. Okay. Let's let's try to get that interceptor. They warped off. In, uh, that was a Atron 2 tier 10 in interceptor. Pretty good ship. And I'm still not tier 10. Uh, well, soon enough I'll be tier 10. Working on skills. Alright. Warping towards the next target. Warping towards the next target. Serpentis Scout Anomaly. Alright. There is 9 in local. Drive Not quite sure if this is a bait that I am going in, but let's find it out. I should be, I should be fast enough to warp away on time. Oh, it's a stubber. Okay, let's take it out quickly, and then I can actually do the scout anomaly. No one will disturb me doing this anomaly after I am finished with this stubber. Well, that was a. Those were some four or five very nice hits on the on the cruiser. Right, taking the loot. So now I can take out the pod, and now I can take range with the micro warp drive. Well, oh, I know I've uh, I've been I've been asked why did I go full speed on the Cinnabel. Well, it's a very simple uh, answer to that. Uh, people chase me a lot lately, uh, and I really need a fast ship to keep burning away. Because usually it is like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ships that are jumping at me. So if I get caught, I am dead. So I have to be fast in order to survive after I shoot down my targets. Or if I get caught in a bait uh, to burn away quickly from the well, from the from the target. All right. Well, uh, welcome to uh, no space. This is a Serpentis dead space. Got intel that there are ships inside, so we are coming in. Now they're most likely they most likely warped off uh, by the time we warped the first gate. So just making sure that everything is uh, going according to plan. Now I don't know what type of dead space, what uh, wave they're at. Uh, so have to be very very careful. Those elites can be very deadly, and I have literally no tank on this ship, so if I get scrambled and webbed, I am dead. Well, first room clear. Okay. Waiting for the first ship to go through the next gate, then I will follow. So it's uh, three of us against two of them. We have a good uh, chance of, of winning. We have three uh, we have three of our ships versus uh, two ships that were doing the dead space that are actually doing dead space as as we roll in. If we're lucky, some of them are already uh, pointed and scrambled active. by the elites, so it should be a very easy catch. Okay, going into the third room. 
That was a weird lag there for a moment. Okay, it seems like they did almost finish this. Hmm, interesting. Waiting for everyone to arrive, then we can go towards the fourth room. You know, I'll be honest, uh, jumping in uh, into these dead spaces can be quite... Well, I, I'm like not used to uh, do them in a very uh, in a very fragile ship. Now this is a PvP Cinnabal, focusing on speed and DPS. Uh, the One shield extender is there to take some damage. Now it works against other ships, it's not gonna work against a dead space, so if I get caught here I can say goodbye to 3 or 4 billion isk. Uh oh, oh no, oh no! Right in the damn wave. All right. Well, let's try to run away from that shadow vigilant. Yeah, that daredevil went after me. Let's try to take it down before. Oh, all right. Well, fleet warped. We got fleet warped. All right. Good. 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 Everything went. Everything went smoothly. All right. Next target. We have a prototype. All right. Let's orbit, focus fire. They have been pointed, I mean scrambled, webbed. Orbiting is zero. These prototypes are very, very nice. Um, in terms of, they're literally for free and they can do a lot of damage if you build them properly. And when the new faction arrives, the faction that that prototype belongs to, that will be fun. Not quite sure if I will fly those ships. Uh, they have a very nice Valor ship though, so I might be interested in that. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good looking Valor ship. Of course, not yet released, uh, but it will be released as time goes on. Prophecy jumped in. Okay, that's, uh, that's nice. Side by side, two ships. Prophecy trying to burn away with the micro op drive, but that will not work. I'm going to go and try to scramble it and web it. Alright, scrambled and webbed. Now we can destroy that prophecy. Nice. Two battle cruisers side by side. I am not going to complain about that. And now let's take out the pod, if possible, or not. There is a second pod. And of course it missed. A third one, what? Alright, well, um, it's our lucky day, I guess. A third prototype. Pointed, scrambled, swept. Now let's quickly take it out. That's that that was three ships side by side. Not bad. And nice, another one down. Let's let's go towards the station. I leave the loot to my allies to loot. Okay, let's keep range on that pod nice all right that was a uh, that was nice we got we got a little bit lucky there uh, overall was uh, was pretty fun well uh, i have some things to say about this uh, new update i overall like the new content that we did that we did receive uh, however uh, i think they still need to rework the war games uh, they still need to add uh, more ships, uh, more, well, more builds, more fits, and I think that they also need to work on the matchmaker a little bit. But overall, uh, everything so far, it was pretty nice, uh, have been enjoying the game quite a bit, so I hope that you enjoyed as well. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.